All right, let's get straight into it. Rutgers, 63, Indiana, 48. The Scarlet Knights, Sweeney, I saw this stat. I think it was uh, the guys over at Heat Check that put this out. In the last three years, Rutgers is 10 and 3 at home against top 25 opponents. How does this keep happening? I mean, I, th- I think they beat the Knicks at the rack at this point. Ah. <laughs> it's just uh, it's unbelievable. It, the, the, the mojo that they have in that building is is just just ridiculous, and there's nothing like it right now in college basketball. Like, there's not a home court advantage more scary than that little that that barn in in Jersey. And I mean, look, I, I thought today the biggest difference for 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 this game compared to what Indiana has done so far was Rutgers got into them and they were physical. Um, they kind of switched it up defensively a little bit, made Indiana uncomfortable, made Xavier Johnson, uh, who's had a really good start to the year, very uncomfortably turned it over six times. And I think you finally saw a team that that matched Trace Jackson Davis on the block with with Omori, who I know he had some foul trouble, um, but they just sent bodies at him and, and made made traces, made traces day, not a not an easy one. And they, they they just find ways in that building to to out tough you and hang in the game. And eventually they're going to make their run. And the crowd isn't going to stop. And I was just, again, so impressed with, with them. They're still getting healthy, right? I mean, McConnell missed time earlier in the year. He's back, had a really good day today. But Mulcahy, he's still coming off the bench. Still seems like he's on a pitch count 24 minutes today. But you mentioned, Rob, you know, Simpson, who another one of these under-the-radar freshmen in the Big Ten who has stepped up and made a big impact. He's really helped them, given him another guy who can go create some offense, which I think was so critical on, on paper with this group. Uh, but they're tough. They're physical. And uh, I wouldn't want to see him at the rack. Yeah, no one can beat them there. Patrick, what is it about home court environments like that that can kind of rattle a road team? You've played in some of the loudest ones. Hell, the the place yeah. that you played, the O-Dome, when you guys were great, that place is rocking. So uh, what is what is it about those home court environments that kind of gets the team? Well, if you want to be technical, uh, home court advantage shouldn't matter. It shouldn't. But this is college basketball. I remember playing at the rack. Uh, it was sort of in my junior year and goodness gracious, it, it, I think we we're playing against an unranked Rutgers team, but it was as though we were playing against a team that had an unbelievable amount of confidence. And I just, I had flashbacks watching the game. Uh, <laughs> my, and I think that was before Mike Rosario transferred and uh, came to Florida. So um, uh, yeah, not great memories I have being at the rack, but when it comes to, to uh, having that home court advantage, you just have so much more, um, again, confidence that you're going to protect your basket. You're going to play to another level and it should travel because this Rutgers team, um, they are overall number one defense in the big 10 right now. They are, they're holding teams to a lead to, uh, 48, uh, 48 points on average, um, or 50, 54 points on average right now. But, you know, they go down to Miami and they weren't able to, to hold that same, that same thing. They come into a game, they bounce back. Uh, I, I'm looking at Indiana. I'm saying, where's the help? Uh, Miller Klopp, he was great. Uh, smooth shot. He was five of nine from the three-point line. If you take him away uh, from the rest of this game, it's one one of 16 for Indiana from the three-point line. That's 6%. Uh, so <laughs> it's really difficult to win if you can't get someone else that can knock down at least two, 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 two or three three-pointers outside of one guy. Uh, the trap, the, the defense on um, Jackson Davis was awesome. Derek Simpson, oh my gosh, as you said, he was a difference maker when he came off the bench. He was a firecracker. Uh, overall, really impressed with Rutgers. And they, they're gonna they're gonna beat a lot of good teams at home this year. Uh, just a matter of is it gonna travel for them uh, in this tough conference? Yeah, the what they can do at home, I think, is gonna make up for a lot of some the losses that that they took um, early on this season. Right? They took they lost. Let me hold on. Let me bring up the schedule. And make sure I have it in front of me. They lost to Temple, which is not a great loss. They lost at Miami, like you mentioned, Patrick. And I think the what they can do at home is going to make up for some of that. I was just really impressed with how seamlessly um, Caleb McConnell he was back, and uh, Paul Mulcahy getting back into the the rotation was able. They, they were just come in and play and it wasn't like they missed any time so um they, that's a really really good basketball team especially when they're playing at home uh Sweeney let me ask you about Indiana because they came into the season quite a bit of hype probably the Big Ten favorite I would say heading into the year uh climbed all the way up into the top 10 they still got 13 and 10 from Trace Jackson Davis night but they lost by 15 points um was this just a, a you know something that happens on the road in conference play is this something that we probably shouldn't overreact to or is this just kind of a sign like this is why you need to worry about a team that has Xavier Johnson at the point he finished uh 2 for 11 from the floor six turnovers not a great game 
Yeah, I mean, I think if this game was played in January or February, it wouldn't have the noteworthiness that it does right now because it is so early. We're still kind of gathering data points, if you will, on these teams. But like, like, I think if you were convinced that Indiana could win the Big Ten championship before today, today should not dissuade you. And if you were conv- if you were convinced that they weren't going to be good enough, uh, today is just going to be, you know, fuel for fuel for your fire. But I don't, I don't think you should change your mind over over this game because it is so hard to win at the rack. Like the teams that they beat last year in that building, uh, they beat Iowa. They they held Iowa last year, one of the best offenses in the country, to 40, 48 point or forty six points. Excuse me. Um, they beat uh, you know some really good teams at the rack last year. They beat Michigan. They've gotten State Purdue the last few times I played Purdue. Yeah, they they beat got Purdue Illinois the, the last yeah. three times they played Illinois. Like they they're, they're yeah, they, basically the prime warriors. Yeah, they're they, playing they, in that building. They they lost by 35 to Illinois at Illinois and then beat <laughs> Illinois by 11 at the rack. Like, you, you, you just don't beat them there. And, and so I just think, like, I, I wouldn't be too worried. I think you saw some of the issues that this Indiana team can have with teams that are that can match them physically. I thought they also really missed Jay, uh, Jalen hood Shafino today because mm-hmm. his ability, especially in the Carolina game, to – um attack the basket, but also be a pest defensively and just really disrupt a lot of Carolina's actions. I think they missed that in in this game, but at the end of the day, you're not going to win a lot of games. if you score 48 points. And especially, especially when 21 of those are scored by Miller cop. Like if you told me at the beginning of the game, like if I'm Rutgers, like Miller cop can have his 12 shots. Like Miller cop is one guy in the lineup. I know he can make shots from three. I know he's a really good shooter, but he's the one guy that does not scare me. If I'm if I'm looking at the scouting report, I'm seeing Xavier Johnson, Trace Jackson Davis, and in most days Jalen Hutchfino and Tamar Bates off the bench and Malik Renew, the outstanding freshman. Like all those dudes, all those weapons. If Miller Cops the one who beats me, I'm gonna live with it. And I just think Rutgers was great in actually executing their game plan. So I don't I don't think Indiana is like a true national contender, like a team that I see winning a national championship, but I think they're good enough to compete at the top of the Big Ten to compete for that conference crown. Uh, and I don't think today should should change your mind on that. 